Amen. Amen. We thank God for all that he's done and what he's doing in this season. I would like to briefly, we give honor to God. Let us all stand. And to all those that are present today, there is a word from heaven. We thank God for this word found in Matthew's, the seventh chapter, 13th verse. Amen. It reads, Matthew 7 and 13, Enter ye in a straight gate, for wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in, 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 in threat, and thereat. Because straight is the gate, verse 14, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. We like to use as a topic today the other alternative. Turn to your name and say the other, other. alternative. You may be seated. Brothers and sisters, I declare today that there are many alternatives that we could take in life. But I want to speak on this topic, the other alternative. The other alternative meaning a choice limited to one or two or more possibilities as of things, uh, propositions, or course of action the selection of which precludes any other possibilities. Example, you have the alternative to ride or you have the alternative to walk. In the adjective form, affording a choice of two or more things or propositions or course of action. I declare today we have what we know as alternative lifestyles. I'm not sure if y'all heard that term, alternative lifestyles. You know, and that alternative lifestyles in respect to the mainstream of ones of certainly are perceived to be outside the cultural norm. For example, they have this thing called nudism. You know, clothing optional. In other words, you walk around nude. Nudism is a new thing. Amen. Amen. No clothes is optional. If you want to wear them, and if you don't want to wear them, nudism. Then you got what you call vegetarians. Are y'all in here today? Some folk like meat, like to eat. Vegetarians and some don't. Then you got the vegans, <laughs> you know. There's new life, new style, you know, alternative lifestyles. Yeah. Amen. Then you have, I know y'all heard of these, the swingers. A lot of you adults know what a swinger is, amen. You know, they, they swinging, you know. You date up this person, we date and we all meet together. It'd be four of us dating and doing to do whatever we do. And relationships and everybody okay with that. You know, the swinging lifestyle. You know, then you have what we call the same sex. I'm educating some of y'all maybe in here. Uh, relationships. Y'all know how that is. You know, man loving man laying in the bed with each other. Women liking women, licking all on, you know, doing all this kissing and going on, doing all this stuff, perverted. But these are, you know, alternative lifestyles, you know, the other alternatives. Then you got even in religion, you got Buddhisms and Hindisms and Hindu and all these isms. We're living in this time. 
my brothers and sisters, where everybody want to do what they want to do and how they want to do it. Talking about the other, you know, the alternatives that are these lifestyles. We live in the postmodern world. And most alternative lifestyles, I found out, is becoming normal mainstream, you know, just what just is what it is. We hear them always say, everybody's doing it. Amen. You know, transgenders and all, you know, it's just the way it is. You know, get used to it. I stopped by every day to tell you. There's nothing that I got to stop by, amen, and stand by, amen, and get used to men. When I was brought up, men went into the men restroom. Women went into the women restroom. Are y'all in here today? To God be the glory with all these alternative lifestyles. I declare today, folk are looking for another alternative other than the world alternative. The church, let me talk about the church, y'all, should be and should not, amen, should resemble Christ and not the world. Am I right about it? The church shouldn't resemble what's going on in society. In other words, you shouldn't, nobody can tell me, well, you know, pastor, I go to church and my pastor gay. What kind of church? That is not of God. Am I right about it? See, this is good stuff. You ain't going to find this on YouTube. God set up his church. He said, man, woman. You know, when a woman, you know, man leaves his husband, a wife, his mom and father, they bring and unite, they become one. Man and woman. He didn't say, Man and man, girl and girl, woman and woman. God set it up. The church should look like the world. We shouldn't have the get down with the get down ministry. You know, playing the blues and dropping it like it's hot. That's not of God's house. That is of the world. I feel mighty good in here today. Say no woman to preach this, but I'm going to preach it. Something's going on in the street. Shouldn't be going on in your church. Shouldn't be no cussing. Y'all, I, I got one come on and one all right, and I got an empty church today. Shouldn't be no fighting. Come on, come on here, Walls. Talk to me. Speak to me. Should be no jealousy. Should be no backbiting. Should be no gossiping. Come on, somebody. Should be no Jerry Springer stuff jumping off. Are y'all in here today? In God's house? Folk hook it up in the church and forget to lose their cotton picking mind. Are y'all in here today? Are y'all in here today? No, that's my woman. No, that's my man. No, that's one woman. And, I, and all of that. Jerry Springer in God's house. God is saying that there is another alternative in God's house should be different than the old house. I know what I'm preaching about. Church should never, ever, ever, ever be the same alternative to the world. This is God's house. And somebody might say, Pastor, I thought we the church. Yes! Your body is the temple of God. And since you said that, listen to this scripture. If you live in the spirit from Galatians 5.25, you ought to also walk in the spirit. If you say you're Holy Ghost filled and sanctified, your walk should be matching your talk. It's one thing, God, you say if you got God in you, baby, you should show on your talk and your actions. Your behavior should show Jesus all over. Am I right about him? Romans 12, 2 said, And be not conformed to the world, but be what? You transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, you need to get your mind right. That's why I said that we got I'm glad I woke up with my right mind. You got to have that mind which is in Christ Jesus. And if you got a mind that's in Christ Jesus had, you'll know how to behave yourself. That he may prove. You can't prove nothing when your mind not right. You can't instruct anyone anything 
when your mind not right. He says, may prove what is that is good. How can you know what is good and acceptable if you got a carnal mind and you're still in the world? You're only way you can know what's good and what's right if you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, it's going to teach you what's right and what is wrong. He said, the perfect will of God the only way you know the perfect will of God, unless you are in God, in Him, in you. Am I right about it? 2 Corinthians 6 17. Might have had Bible study. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye what? Separated, says the Lord. Not as they ever say the Lord, touch not the unclean thing. And he said, I receive you. What, what do you mean an unclean thing? All those things that are of the world. God is saying, come out from that. Isn't that good news? Amen. Folk looking for another alternative. Thank God that there's two alternatives that we're going to speak about in this lesson today. Amen. That leads to two different destinations. The first one in your scripture, it talks about a wide gate. It says, enter into the straight gate, for wide is the gate. This gate here leads to eternal life. But let me talk about this wide gate. I'm almost done, y'all. This wide gate, everyone sees this gate. This gate is wide enough where you can see the glitter. You can see everything going on like the Hollywood sign. This gate is the easy way. You know, this gate, you know, no struggles. This gate, no, uh, you know, no repentance. This gate, no sacrifice. This gate, the worldly alternative. On this gate, you find the gate. On this gate, you'll find the crooked. On this gate, you'll find the drunkard. On this gate, you found the dope pusher. On this gate, you'll find the prostitute. On this gate, you'll find so-called Christian folk. On this gate, are oh, y'all in here today? Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna miss this. Amen. <laughs> On this gate. You got everything on this gate, on this road, on this path, and you got folk that pretending church on this road. Many of us born and shaped, it said the Bible in iniquity. Many are born on this path. But I stopped by today to tell you, there's another alternative. Oh, I feel like preaching this thing today. God is teaching us on this gate, everything goes. You know, on this gate, you can do what you want to do. You can do how you want to do. You can talk to people any kind of way. You don't have to say you're sorry. You don't have to have no forgiveness heart. On this gate, wide is the gate. And everybody sees glitter on this gate. You can see them lit up from miles away. Well traveled. Many people are taking this way. For Jesus said that there is many on this path, but it leads to destruction. I stopped by today to tell you, my brothers and sisters, as you see on the video screen there, a whole lot of folk is taking that path, but there is another alternative. Jesus teaches us in the same lesson, drops down in that 14 verse. He says, because he says, straight is the gate. He says, and here it is, and narrow is the way. In other words, in this other alternative, my brothers and sisters, hard is the way. Amen. There's nothing easy by being a Christian. When Satan is constantly on your track. You're going to lose some friends 
all the way. If you notice, there's one person out of a hundred going uh, to the narrow gate. Am I right about it? Everybody that cries, Lord, Lord, don't mean they're making it in to heaven. Hard is the way. There are going to be some crying days on this path. Sometimes you're going to feel isolated, like you're all by yourself. Everybody is taking an alternative of the worldly way. But uh, those who's on this narrow way have taken the alternative of the Lord. It says, uh, the way is of repentance. Those on this narrow path, huh? Uh, uh, have a heart of repentance. In other words, uh, they don't just say, uh, Lord, uh, I'm sorry. But uh, they change uh, from uh, their wicked ways. Are y'all in here today? Uh, there's self-denial. Uh, you know when you're wrong, uh, you say, Lord, uh, I know I'm done wrong, uh, and I want to deny myself uh, and pick up my cross uh, and follow you. Uh, this way uh, is narrow church. Uh, in other words, uh, there's some sacrificing uh, on this narrow road. Uh, you got to sacrifice, uh, and there is uh, some suffering. Uh, I'm glad I'm preaching uh, to the church today. Uh, God is saying uh, this other alternative, uh, you got to lay aside uh, every weight uh, and sin uh, that easily besets you uh, and run uh, the race uh, for the Lord. Uh, am I right about it? Um, going this way, uh, there's less travelers on this road. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, most will uh, choose uh, to humbly repent uh, going uh, on this road. Uh, but I'm so glad uh, that if I get on this road, uh, I know it leads uh, to eternal life. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, this other alternative uh, is the way of God. Uh, well, uh, the last I checked, church, uh, there's other gods uh, and other alternatives uh, that people choose uh, to serve in this world. Uh, you got gods. Uh, I'm talking about the little G, y'all. Uh, little gods. Uh, you got Atlas, uh, the god of astronomy. Uh, Atlas, uh, the god of vegetation. Uh, Arius, uh, the god of war. Uh, Zeus, uh, they served Zeus, uh, the god of uh, the sky, uh, of lightning, all of that stuff. Uh, the god, uh, for to be the king of all gods. Uh, I'm talking about fake gods, y'all. Uh, I'm talking about Buddha. Uh, they served Buddha uh, and they served Baal. Uh, all these gods. Uh, but I stopped by today to tell you uh, there's only one alternative. Uh, the only alternative. Uh, there's no other alternative. Uh, and I tell you uh, who he is. Uh, Jehovah Jireh. Uh, my provider. Uh, Jehovah Boy. Uh, the Lord uh, that creates him. Uh, Jehovah uh, Nisi. Uh, am I right about it? Uh, Jehovah make it that. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Jehovah Shara. Jehovah Tixkadu. Jesus uh, Christ himself. Uh, our Lord. Uh, he's the only God. Uh, and God is telling us uh, that we need to serve him. Uh, he's the only alternative. Uh, there is none other than uh, born uh, Born, uh, born in Bethlehem. Uh, wasn't he born in Bethlehem? Uh, reigned uh, in Nazareth. Uh, he did good. Uh, he did all uh, that he can. Uh, I stopped by today to tell you uh, on this day, uh, choose Jesus. Uh, give God some praise uh, if you believe uh, that there is uh, only one. Uh, 
alternative. He went to the cross. He died on the cross for your sin and my sin. Give God some praise. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being that one alternative, uh, the only one uh, that said in the book, uh, he said in the word, uh, in the beginning was a word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Nothing made unless he made it. The only alternative, no matter how many alternatives, this world presents the church, God's house. Not our house, God's house. Should be a place where people come to give God praise. Don't turn God's house to a house, a den of thieves, of corruption. These are holy grounds. You got to set yourself apart. Tell Satan, I'm not for sale. I'm sold out for Christ. The other alternative, oh, y'all come on somebody. The other alternative is Christ Jesus. He's the only way. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and the heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Then he said, let not your heart be troubled. We believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you until myself. Where I am, there ye may be also. Whether I go, ye know the way. Yes, yes. I said, Lord, how we know the way and all this? He said, and the way to go. He said, he looked at him in that sixth verse and said, I am the way, the truth, and light. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Give God some praise in here today. Let us all stand. The doors of the church is open.